I'm Michael John Gray, Chairman of the Democratic Party of Arkansas. Arkansas's roads are more than just asphalt. They're the literal lifeline for countless Arkansas communities. When you're talking about the roads that let us take our crops to market, that our school buses use to take our children to school, and that our loved ones use to get to the nearest hospital, you're talking about more than just concrete and cement. You're talking about livelihoods and quality of life. I'm a father, I'm a farmer, and I need these roads just like you do. It's one of the reasons I think this state will come together to find a funding solution. A good road affects all of us, no matter our job, our political party, or our status in life. It's critical that we don't just complain about every pothole or start cussing at every orange barrel we see. It's critical instead that we demand real solutions. Our elected leaders are meeting at the state capitol for the next few weeks during this year's session of the Arkansas Legislature. And they, just like you and me, know what it's like to drive on Arkansas's sprawling road network. They, just like you and me, know that some parts of the state always seem to have better roads than other parts of the state. I'm proud of having a highway system that connects all of our 75 counties. But we need to do more to make sure that everyone is truly served. We need to make sure that all 16,000 miles of roadways are actually drivable and safe. We can't leave any road behind. And while we all appreciate more lanes to get us through traffic in the big cities like Little Rock, we have to make sure that there's just a big commitment to our rural areas. Our rural towns do not matter less than our big cities, but unfortunately our highway dollars aren't always spent that way. But we are a rural state, and we should be able to put our political ideology and where we live aside and make sure that our rural roads are just as important in this conversation. We have to ensure that all of our communities, especially our rural towns, are treated fairly in any highway funding plan. It is critical to our state's economic development and to our quality of life. I'd go further to say that the state highway department should really consider taking all of our rural roads up to the same safety standards that we see all over the country before we expand any more existing highways. There are many ideas on how to fund our highways. Many of these ideas show great promise. Both Republicans and Democrats know how critical it is that we can stop kicking the can down the road on highway funding and find a solution right now. I believe we can come together on this common sense issue, and frankly, it's too important to ignore. We see the problems on our roadways firsthand every day. We see it when we're driving from our farms to the nearest town. We see it when we commute to work, and we see it when we go in search of any needed item. We feel it when traffic grinds to a halt, and we feel it when our car hits a road that looks like a patchwork quilt. We especially notice if we travel it out of state. We feel how smooth those drives start as soon as we cross the state line. So let's fix our roads and let's come together to do it. Let's do it in a smart way. Let's do it in a long-term way. Let's do it in a comprehensive way. That means to make sure that working people aren't shouldering all the burden of paying for our roads all by themselves. We've got to make sure that any changes to the gas tax doesn't hurt that teacher or that single mom or that assembly line worker at the pump. We've got to make sure that we don't take money from our schools, from our hospitals, or from other critical services to make the highway plan work. But we can balance those priorities if we're smart. If we make sure to dot our I's and cross our T's, there's room to fund our roads. It's about priorities. We always talk about where priorities are. I've told you mine. And it's about bringing every road in Arkansas up to the standards that we all think we should be driving on. It's time to get going. It's time to start the car and put our foot on the pedal and bring both parties together and find a real solution. I'm Michael John Gray, Chairman of the Democratic Party of Arkansas.